Hi everybody, this is Priscilla Hall with the Financial Empowerment Reading for the 9th of December. Um, a huge apologies, this should have come out on Wednesday the 7th. Uh, yeah, stuff happened and I just never got to it until today. So here it is for this week, um, still going to hold for a week um, and I'll do the next reading of course next Wednesday. Uh, so I'm just going to draw a card, I think is the best thing to do at this point in time. No excuses, just things happened, and uh, I kind of let them as well. So, okay, okay, this is a really beautiful card. Essentially, what we're being reminded here when it comes to our financial empowerment is that there are times when we need to look at our participation in a situation. And what I'm getting from this card in particular is really clearly that yes, it's good to participate and sometimes it takes several people to pull together a project or whatever. But what I'm really, really, really getting in this particular case is that um, where do we participate willingly? That's a tough one because to participate willingly means that you know the consequences of your actions but you're still choosing to do it in the same way, hoping possibly for the, a different outcome. And they often say that that actually, um, well there's a saying around being a fool or an idiot or something is yes, is hoping to, making a mistake once is okay but making, uh, making the same decision again, hoping for a different outcome is really where we let ourselves down. And so we've got to look at how we participate with um, all sorts of things. And when it comes to our money patterns and, and feeling solid and, and empowered within ourselves, where are we participating knowing that we're actually disempowering ourselves? This is really important. So I'm not going to go on for much longer. I think that this is actually loads. You really need to start looking at yourself and how it is that you're participating knowing that the outcome isn't going to be for your highest good. And when you understand that, there's a part of you that's going to reach a point where you go, I can't do this anymore. I can't participate in the same way. And now I'm going to have to look at, well, if I don't want to participate in the same way, what are the actions, what are the steps I can take that are in my best interest, that are empowering for me, for the highest good of all? Um, and so therefore you're coming from a place of, um, of clarity and, and uh, probably wouldn't have normally used this word, but, but purity purity of knowing that you've done the right thing in the right way for the best of your ability but you're not participating in old behaviors that have actually served to keep you feeling less than or um, unable to step away from the manipulations of others and even maybe your own manipulations too. So a huge one here for us to look at, um, participation. What part of us is actually participating and we know we are and we need to stop it. Thank you very much, everybody. I hope that this is useful. And until next week, goodbye.